Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we will be starting with new unit today, attitude. So we will be dealing with various aspects of attitude, influence and behavior, social influence and persuasion. Everything we will be dealing in with one by one. So starting from that, let's start with today's lecture where we will be dealing with introduction characteristics of attitude content of attitude categories of attitude and theories of attitude formation starting from the introduction so what is attitude see attitude is a fundamental aspect of human psychology that influences our thoughts emotions and behavior like your attitude can be positive negative or even neutral which can be influenced by various factors like personal experiences, cultural influences, upbringing, social interactions, etc. See, we should also know that attitudes are not fixed and can change over time based on the new information, new ideas, new thoughts or even based on the personal growth. So that is something attitude. Now let us look upon the characteristics of attitude evaluate you see what it is it involves an individual's positive or negative in evaluation of an object person group idea or event like see actually it's nothing but judging a person or an object that is something evaluative it influences human behavior see a positive attitude towards a thing or a person will influence human behavior towards that person or thing favorably and vice versa might also happen like if i like my if i like one person i'll go and speak to him regularly develop some friendship with him and everything but if i don't like that friend i will never even i look don't like that person i will never even bother about his existence that is something you should do intensity it refers to the strength of the effective component. So what is in intensity like a simple example I can say is there is one person if I have strong negative in intensity towards him I will never even bother about, bother about his existence. But if the intensity is less even though I do not like that person I might still have a conversation with him. That is something intensity works about. Next is multidimensional. It is composed of different components like cognitive, behavioral and affective com components which you'll be dealing in the upcoming slides. Attitude is learned. See attitude is not inborn but is learned through social interaction and experiences along with personal experiences and stuff. Attitudes are different from values. See values are ideals but attitudes are narrow. They are our feelings. See, uh, example we can tell is honesty is in value. Okay, that honesty is in value, but the attitude is that we wanted to follow it. That is our attitude of following honesty. But honesty as a separate entity can be considered as in value. That is, these are the few characteristics of value. Looking into that, the content of attitude. Affective component, see it refers to the individual's emotional response to the object or a person. Like it gives the emotional orientation towards the attitude object. Like we can say it as uh, if owning a BMW car gives you the pleasure and prestige that will create a positive attitude about the brand within you. That is the affective component component next one is behavioral component this component actually refers to tendency of individual to behave in certain ways towards an object or a person let's say uh, if a person has a positive attitude towards recycling of uh, things they may more they may be like more likely to recycle their waste and also encourage others to do the same but if they are not into that recycling, they will not even encourage, they will not even bother about recycling and throw waste as, as they like. That is the behavioral component. Next one is cognitive component. 
this component refers to the individual's beliefs and thoughts about object or person like if someone has positive attitude towards exercise they may believe that exercise is good for health and well-being and also work towards that that is the cognitive component of the attitude like these are the con contents of the attitude uh, a good example on comparing all the three we can say is affective component speaks that i hate smoking as it is harmful to health okay that is affective behavioral we should keep smokers out of the library cognitive smoking is harmful to health that is the difference in examples of the affective behavioral and cognitive component we have coming on to the next for the categories of attitude actually there are only two implicit and explicit attitude in implicit attitude a person may be unaware of his implicit beliefs though these still have some influence on his conduct and behavior like it's like they are in, in his in his mind uh, which is mostly governed by past memories uh, that is something implicit attitude speaks about explicit as an attitude is nothing but a person is aware of his attitude and they rightfully influences behavior and belief it is also referred to as a self reported attitude these are certain categories of attitude coming on to the next we will be dealing with theories of attitude formation classical or pavlovian conditioning see this can this refers to the process uh, associating a neutral stimulus with a po positive or negative response like let's say you are a neutral child you are in your engage if your parents repeatedly talk bad about your neighbor or their neighbors behavior the child will eventually or intentionally or unintentionally, unintentionally learn that that behavior that their neighbor has bad behavior that is classical or pavlovian and you look into others and uh, you look into others and take their ideas thoughts that is classical or pavlovian conditioning next one is operant or instrumental conditioning it forms because it is been reinforced through reward or pleasant experience or discouraged through punishment or an unpleasant experience Mm, yes this is again someone may develop a positive attitude towards exercise after experiencing the pleasant rewards of your healthy body by doing regular exercise such as health improved health and mood that is operant or instrumental conditioning next one is observational conditioning see it describes the process of learning by watching others retaining their information and later replicating the behaviors that were observed like a child watches the parent folding the laundry if the child watches the parent folding the laundry the, the child may later pick up and try to do the same imitate the same that is observational conditioning so yes guys that's it for today's lecture hope you understood the different factors of attitude characteristics of attitude content of attitude and etc uh, will be resuming this attitude in the next lecture thank you